Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Wednesday meeting. Hope everybody is having a fantastic Wednesday. Welcome, welcome all that are in the chat, out there in YouTube. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for hitting that uh, that button to watch us on a uh, on a different night or while you're playing in the gym or doing whatever. We're always glad to have anybody rewatch our show uh, at a later time. So glad you're glad you're uh, doing that. Uh, as always, uh, just glad to be part on this Wednesday night in our in our meetings here. So glad that you're here. And uh, let me bring in all of my co-hosts that are here this evening. We've got one that's running a little late. Jay, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, Todd? Not Can't much, complain. man. Can't complain, man. I've been having you're a great raping week. In Breaking in that uh, that overtime as always, right? Yeah, yeah. They and, offered uh, it. Uh, 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 Simpsons behind you. Anyway. <laughs> God bless you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I got I to gotta pay for stuff. and You got to pay for all that stuff that you're buying. Yeah. Joel, Joel's giving me like this crazy FOMO. That I'm at work it. going, ah. So I, yeah. I blame him. And a uh, half dozen and uh, for uh, – pointing us in the right direction of uh keeping our addiction alive and uh but i right. had an open arcade this week twice at uh, easter everybody came over on easter when people got to play the arcade and then actually cooked some ribs yesterday had everybody over and everybody's playing yeah Ga uh not galaga that's galaga guy um dig dug dig dug is a big one in our house right now so there's a little mini dig dug competition going on so Cool. Yeah. All right. So we're we're getting that arcade is getting some use, which is really fun. People are the, loving it. Cool. The question is, did they, they post her scores into high school? <laughs> Not yet, but we're doing an internal thing, and then we're, um, I'm, that's that's next. That's next. Step. Okay. I did get a score though on Junior Pac Man, and I played it on my Paw Patrol, which um, I found is really actually easy to play Pac Man in because it has a four way uh, joystick on it. It's one of the few uh, arcade or yeah arcade one ups that has a four way joysticks, so that Pac Man's actually really easy on it. So uh, if you have a modded Paw Patrol, play Pac Man on it. You'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Galaga guy, what's going on? I see you're still in the boiler room, and uh, I still see arcades. So I don't know what's going on there. We might have to talk a little bit later after the show. Mm. Yeah, I tried to take it back and it just didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they, been back, doing they came back on their own. Right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They just, I, I try to throw them out and they just come back. I don't know what it is. It's crazy. The addiction's crazy. real, man. The addiction's real. <laughs> your, carpet, your carpet looked yeah. pretty good, though, when you did get yeah. them. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bought a nice go. rug just for Todd. I was like, I better put something down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a really nice looking rug. <laughs> uh but i had a good weekend uh week's gone good actually had a, a lot of uh friends and family over uh saturday night and um so we all sat around and gamed in the in the boiler room and that was a good time i don't know if uh if uh, you guys have experienced this but it almost like you turn into like a a manager of an arcade where people <laughs> constantly need something <laughs> and so <laughs> you're like oh yes you need this you need that you need that yeah <laughs> where did you 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 need to get one of those little quarter dispensers yeah. that you hang off your belt. Yes, you go. Yeah. Here you, go, you don't need them, but I want to go ahead and just give them to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Wear like a striped shirt or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. There so you it was go. Like constantly running around trying to help people. So it uh, it's definitely a lot of work when you get people here, but it's always a, a great time, a great time. So that's what uh, that's what I've been up to this past weekend. Um, any games that I've played. Uh, I actually found out because I've been doing some research on Burger Time because we might be doing a video for that. Me and my my wife, Burger Time Babe, and uh, I found out there's actually was a Switch game uh, for Burger Time called Burger Time Party, and it's like a party game um, yep. for for the Switch. I had no idea it existed, and I was like, "What?" Yeah. So uh, I, I had to buy it for. Uh, yeah, I think you mentioned it behind the chat, and yeah, I I had heard of it, never had a chance to play it, but I I'd, I'd seen some reviews and whatnot. On it. It's a pretty cool game. Yeah, yeah, I um, we she I bought it for for my wife immediately, 
and she played it and I got to play with her for a little bit. And she said, honestly, it's, it, it holds up pretty well. So, cool. um, if you, if you haven't seen it or you've never uh, planned on, um, or never even knew it existed like I did, uh, go check it out. It's actually pretty fun. Awesome. Yeah. But that's what, that's kind of what I've been up to this week. Um, as far as my arcade goes and what I've been playing. So awesome. Hey, Moat. Yeah, Moat. So good Moat? to see you in the chat, buddy. Shotgun Sean is here as well. Matt, man, what is going on? You look all uh, professional with your nice shirt on. You don't look as <laughs> normally relaxed. So what, what's going on, man? Uh, what's all good? Just, t- I mean, I, I the, the blessing is that this week I've actually slipped. So that's good. But yeah, like, Work and getting dinner and getting here on time kind of overlaps. So we're here and I, yeah, I'm wearing a college shirt. But yeah, just like this weekend was fantastic. Just like ever, it was Easter, so we went to church, had dinner with Monica's dad, and so you know, we anchored in here. I built a platform for the racer, so it's not sitting on the ground. Yeah, it was overall we're just stupid blessed. Just a little thing. Yeah, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. Uh, yeah. Holy cow! Did Todd drop a Red Bull tonight? He's so loud and excited. Am I? Am That's I too right. loud, gentlemen? No, you're perfect, my friend. Yeah, I, I think you sound fine. He's making fun of when you were on uh, that that um, Biggie D show and you're using your other mic. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Making all right. sure we're all right here. Matt looks refreshed tonight. We we like refreshed Matt. Yep, we yeah. love refreshed Matt. So thank you, Scott Shop. He's always refreshed. He's all right, all right now. There. Now I know majority of the audience that's here right now is ready for this time of the evening. Where where did he run off to? He's he's here. He got this. He's playing. He's playing. All right. Well, yeah. well, Jojo, you gotta you gotta get in, buddy. This is your time, man. This is where you're at, Jojo. Everybody's ready for you, man. What's up, Jojo? So what do you what are you bringing Say to hi. the show tonight, buddy? Yep. Mario yeah. Kart. Mario Kart. So this that's your, that's your heat. And Legos and something to something else's. Okay. Wow. Mario Karts and Legos and two something else's. Mm-hmm. All right. What you got, buddy? Show me. Here's a Mario Kart. Okay. What has Mario on it? Awesome. Here's a Weezy with a Mario Kart. Oh man. And All right. Also with the Donkey Kong on the Mario Kart. With two toes on the Mario Kart, but. They're missing somewhere in here in the game room. Uh oh, we lost Uh-oh. them in the game room. Yep. Oh man. Yep. We uh-huh. lost them with Todd. <laughs> Don't step on them. They're Legos hurt. now. So I'm doing Legos. Oh, Legos now. Okay. Time to Legos. Uh oh, what we got here? Ooh, Ooh, who's that? Ninjago. Lego Ninja. Ninjago. All right, Lego. man. We just need to turn his head and grow a little bit. He's got two uh, faces. Ah, uh, Jojo, can your head do that? Can you turn your head? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I don't got two faces. Oh, you don't have two faces. <laughs> oh, okay. Faces. <laughs> and another red ninja from Ninjago. Oh, that one's cool. I like his key. Is that the red one? Yeah. All right. Awesome. The faces are different. Here's another guy. I love his two faces. Here's another guy from that Ninjago. Who, he's not from Ninjago? No. <laughs> Who's he from? I don't Just know. Just a Lego? Mm-hmm. A regular Lego. And here's one of the Ninjago's face on this body. body. Oh, that's a classic body. That's one of Daddy's... Uh... Uh-oh. Was funny. It was a kid. Yeah, but now you gave it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was in my Lego pile of dad. Uh oh. And here is a face of the Ninjago, the green ninja face. I put on the green ninja face on him. Okay. Next is more Ninjago. More Ninjago. Wow, the blue one then. That's cool. Electric one. And now I got the bad guys. Oh, oh, the bad guys. Is that that Mike Worley guy? Is the bad is the bad guy Mike Worley <laughs> here? Where Mike Worley? <laughs> that doesn't look like him. No. <laughs> Here's another one with red eyes that turns people to bad guys. Oh man! Oh, that's not good. 
red eyes are a sign of being a bad guy. Uh, I thought it was red hair. Sith. Hey, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> so, does that include beards and other fish in there? <laughs> no, they just they don't have any souls. That can break. I bought a Kia once, a Kia Soul. <laughs> I had one for a bit. <laughs> Yeah, like they said, he's getting better on, on the camera. He's he's doing pretty good. What about this guy? This is not a Lego. Oh, oh who is that? Not a Lego. Who is that guy? I don't know, Venom. There yeah, you go, Venom. Venom. All right. He's like, I don't know, Venom. I don't know, Venom. <laughs> oh, and a ninja sword. Yeah. Gotta have a ninja sword. Just in, have just in case somebody breaks in. Oh yeah. man, you Dad, go get the ready. ninja sword. All right. <laughs> Never leave home without it. it. Right at hand, within arm's length. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Toxin liked the venom, yeah. so that's good. That yeah. yeah. Is that, that it? it? I got my cup too. And your cup. Oh. cup. All right. And a cup. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good All right. job. What you right now? Tons of sweet tea. Daddy I hope. His turn. Yep, Daddy's turn. Somebody else's turn. No, no, it's your turn, Joe. <laughs> no, it's your turn. You're the it only is your one turn. left. <laughs> I'm the only one left. <laughs> How was your week, Joel, buddy? My week was my week has been pretty good. So we went to my parents uh, for a long weekend for Easter. My sisters were in town his, and with their kids. And his parents is gone, Bumpa. Yeah, my parents are gone, Bumpa. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was out there, went far away. Yeah, we both went a little far, far away. away. Yeah. <laughs> Four and a half hour drive. Yeah. My cousin was in town with her family. Um, we haven't seen them in uh, like a year and a half or longer. So they live out west, out in Utah. Mm -hmm. So it was nice having them here and visiting. We had a packed house. And wow. I saw on the Discord all the fun going on with the Simpson sale. So typically it would be like a 45-minute drive to go into a best buy you know if i was home but my parents they got a best buy like 15 minutes down the street so uh, i think it was what saturday morning i decided Convenient. to get the shot and yeah. ran down there and got myself a simpsons cab on order and it arrived today Sweet. Garage. awesome i think we're gonna have uh a boys day tomorrow yeah, awesome. My mother leaves and they looks after us at yeah. the house. Babysitters have to go out of town for uh, some doctor's appointments and stuff. So yeah, the boys are staying here with me. Yeah, guys, you know, watch us. Took the day off. And We're going to you know, do some playing, some hardcore cool. playing. And watch some TV. Nice. Yep, watch some TV. Awesome. Play some games, maybe build a video game or two. And also make a video game too. Yeah. We can do awesome. all three of those at one at a time. Sounds like a good plan, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. One of the babysitters is having them. And uh, yes, I was MG. Daga, <laughs> my babysitter, that babysits me. That when my mom and dad at work, he's having the surgery. Yeah, he's and, gotta go see a doctor. And my other babysitter's going with him. Yeah, is his the, wife. Yeah, and it, her name is Kitty. <laughs> Corner Kitty wants to know if any of us bought it. Yeah, a few of y'all bought them, but uh, not everybody on the panel. I think uh, Galaga guy, you tried, right? No, he just goes. Yeah, computers. yeah. What's great about having friends like Jay is that he'll pick it up for you. He's got oh, my wow. right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> pick it up for you. You just never will get it. Yeah, right. you never ever will get it. <laughs> I'm a millennial. Yeah. Whenever he, whenever y'all said he had to go into and talk to somebody to order it, I was like, nah. I was, I was said, let it be. Oh man, <laughs> I'm the same way. But uh, for a $150 arcade cabinet, I'm willing to talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a like a like 45 minutes drive to a to a Best was... Buy for me. So it was like, Ugh, and then they may or may not have it. I was like, yeah, probably not worth it. It was pretty painful. The goodest Jay got one for me. It was yeah. only uh, like five minutes or less that I had to talk to somebody. Yes, and, and, it, and it comes oh. with a stool. That's the other thing. It comes with a stool and a sign. Stool, yeah. tin sign. Yeah, and anybody going to give up their tin sign that they don't want? I'll give it to you, you if you want. You want a tin sign, Todd? <laughs> I, I want a tin sign. 
I want a tin sign. I got a I got a stool I'm giving to Jay, so I can send you a tin sign if you want. There you go. That that would be great. I would appreciate that. I would I would take a tin sign. Oh, you have no, a was it Friday, Friday, I think uh, Corner Cade dropped uh, his video with uh, my risers. Good job, so, Corner Cade. That was an awesome video. Streaming. I've been, had some orders trickling in. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Up on orders, so it's going to be a busy weekend getting some of that going. Those are yeah, like he actually showed it off risers. really well. It was it was really yeah, detailed and stuff like job. that. Yeah, he uh, definitely promoted promoted it very well, and um, yeah, thank I want to win by the video. For that. Both him and Mrs. Cornicate have been bugging me to uh, get a code, a discount code for their viewers. So <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get that for him. So all right, awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. Coming awesome. together. So the code yeah, is you he, can play he full wants price too. One now too. I he, he's, have uh... Fortnite versus the Kitty Night. Yeah. And. My mom let me have two. Yeah, because tomorrow you're here with me, so. Yeah. 1% discount. Overnight early. Free 1% discount. I don't know about that, <laughs> but hey. Right. We always have free Corner K discount is add 10 bucks. <laughs> 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 no, uh, Corner K had a good idea, and I think we're going to do some sort of like buy two bundle or something. Yes, there um, you go. Awesome. Surprisingly, the shipping wasn't uh, as bad as I would have thought um, for adding a second one, and I can fit them in the boxes pretty well. So, um, yeah, got to look at, got to look at, and get the code and stuff up on the website, and that'll be coming out shortly. Sweet. And I've had tons of people requesting uh, T two risers, so going to try to get some R and D, and hopefully uh, have one of those ready to go for. <laughs> By the weekend, um, so people no. can start ordering those as well. Now, what about wow. the Simpsons riser? I got a what Simpsons? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Simpsons will fit. Uh, uh, Corner K dropped. Uh, I sent him one for Blitz, and he changed his mind and put uh, the Simpsons when it arrived on it. So I got to send him some new trim for oh, okay yellow trim. Okay, so, but. Yeah, it fits. So Simpsons fits, Blitz fits, uh, KI fits. Uh, what else? X Men, Street Fighter, Yoga Flame. So we know all those fit. Um, I'm putting together also like a little uh, like printable template that'll have the corner radi corner radiuses to scale, and then um, give some instructions on measurements so people can kind of confirm. What does fit and what maybe won't, but what we might be able to make adjustments to make it fit. So I'm Sweet. fairly confident we can probably make uh, like T2 and um, things fit, especially if like the corner radiuses are all the same. And it's just a matter of, you know, making the cab a little wider or a little deeper or something mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah, you're going to have to buy every cab now just to test them out. A little bit more difficult if the corner radiuses are different because then, you know, not having it on site in hand to, you know, take those no. dimensions and get those curves and put them into the CAD and stuff like that makes it a little bit more difficult. So, but <laughs> we'll get there. Good to hear. Good what to I hear. liked about it was it kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, you, you've mentioned before it's a seamless riser. But with Corner Cade's uh, a whole review of it, it kind of, you know, put everything pictured like, hey, this is what it's going to look like in the end. So it really sparked my interest in uh, definitely wanting one because I was like, how is this going to work? But after seeing this video, I'm like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So like, it looks like a deluxe. definitely did yeah. an awesome job, Corner Cade. Yeah, I've had a few people requesting them to be a little taller, too. So I'm on the fence about how best to do it, whether I should just make two inch taller version of it or if i should do basically like a spacer riser booster type thing that goes in between the cab and the riser itself just as the riser my riser does so it's all in line but the downfall with that would be there would be an an extra seam so you'd have another seam right there within like two inches but it would all be integrated and 
So the plus side with that is it would fit in my boxes that I already have. Um, I wouldn't have to keep a bunch of different risers stocked. It would be just a matter of, you know, if somebody orders that or people who have ordered them could order that to make them taller. But I get the fact that, you know, people like probably the least amount of seams as possible too. Yes, so. sir. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I second the, the two inches taller. That would be dope. Just yeah, based on, no based on So me. when you make them taller and I, I, Joel, you tested this out. How how stable are they? Because um, from what I've oh, been at hearing, some point, they, you're gonna get <laughs> yeah, a lot of things. Yeah. You get too tall, but yeah, I know I with know. the arcade one ups, people <laughs> like them because they're more stable than uh, some of the uh, deluxe or whatever you call them. What is it, deluxe? <laughs> so I was just wondering the stability of them. <laughs> yeah. Like a, like a <laughs> I do have I do have in the works if I can find time to get it done uh, a riser stand pedestal idea for my current stands too to make them at standing height in fact anybody who has them if you look on the very bottoms there's two holes drilled underneath there for dowel pins to kind of help lock it in place when it, you drop it onto the mm -hmm. stand. So those were preemptively designed in there to hopefully make that an option, an accessory that can be added on later. So, but it's a matter of just getting to it. Yes, sir. Everybody needs to stop ordering stuff from me. So I have. <laughs> that's the point of it, Joy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> First world problems, right? It's not yeah. Really so much. <laughs> All right. No awkward silence tonight. What We're not going right, to do that tonight. Go. Okay. All right. All right real, so all right, real fast, Todd. Man, that that light that your wife got you for behind you, your left shoulder for me, is straight fire, my friend. That is gorgeous. The 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 nerd lounge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, it's yeah. it's at ten percent. Uh, if I put any any uh brighter, you really can't see it because I think the camera's trying to adjust it. So. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Um, You're welcome. I love the Nerd Lounge uh, light, and uh, I've got a couple more of those that I've ordered that I need to hang up and and uh, do uh, on the wall there. I think if they're farther back, uh, I can turn them brighter, and you guys can still see them without any issues. Yes, sir. So, so uh, real quick, I uh, wanted to do a... Uh, Arcade Anonymous uh, game of the week, and I have chosen, I have chosen Frogger this week. So we'll be doing Frogger Ooh. this week. Um, so uh, go and hit your high scores and put them into the Arcade's I Score uh, site for us this week. Uh, we only have one in there right now from our good friend Half a Dozen. So let's see if we can knock that score off. Off so are we doing this submissions for this week? Is, is that how it's we're doing Frogger. It? Yep. So, so it is submissions. If you don't beat his score, but you still submit the high score submitted for this week till next Wednesday, we'll win an Arcades Anonymous t-shirt. And oh. uh, we'll have that shipped out to you the same time we have uh, Burger Babe, Burger Time Babe's shirt sent out to her because I know she's been waiting for her shirt too. I still owe you that, so no, I will get that out to you. So, yeah. so Todd, do you know the Burger Babe's size? Uh, uh yeah, it's in the we'll chat. We can talk that on the air. As long as you in. know it, we know it. So. We, we have it. Yeah. Phil, you already leaving us? <laughs> All right, Phil. Oh, PD7, right come on. He wakes up crazy early. Yes, we haven't forgot you, Burger Time, babe. We will make sure that you have an Arcade's Anonymous shirt. The so last thing, the on. last thing, yeah. So we're doing Frogger this week. Uh, so put those scores in. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he's got edit. Cool. He's got edits to do. So uh, let, uh, the, let the man do his edits. because we got. put us know. on in the background. Put us on in the background. Yeah, yeah. Well, those walking talks don't make themselves, guys. <laughs> exactly. You exactly. want stuff to watch in the shower in the morning? You gotta let. PD you gotta let the man do his job. Yeah, no yeah. doubt, no doubt. Be complaining if they're not done. Yep. Yeah. 
So uh, last time, Froggers, this week, we will announce our winner on uh, next Wednesday's show, and they'll get a Arcade's Anonymous shirt of their choosing uh, sent directly to them. Any well, questions? Yeah, any concerns? You rock it, Frogger? Frogger? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good, All right. Frogger. Well, let's, well, well I got to bust out the uh, Paw Patrol machine because I, uh, I got it on there, so... Yep. We're gonna. Yep. We're, I don't we're have. Gonna, we're, let's uh, let's get that Frogger uh, Frogger uh, uh, filled going. up. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, so let's see here. I'm gonna go down the pipeline again. What you playing and what you modding? Uh, I'm gonna start with Joel real quick and work my way back. Joel, what have you been playing and modding, brother? Uh so I revisit. I've been revisiting uh, Mega Man Eleven. Ooh. <laughs> So All right. After uh, playing through Contra once, it was like, ah, I need to go back to Mega Man and visit that again for nostalgia sake. So that's what I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing that on the Ally. And so I took that with me over the weekend and got in a little bit of playing here and there while sitting around chatting with the family. Cool. Awesome. So stuff there. And uh, modern. Is it? I mean, you're always modding. I mean, I know it, you are, but oh yeah. I, at lunch today, I uh, put started putting together my um, Akari Warrior deck. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. I have to come awesome. on and play that. <laughs> you got you're gonna spend a lot of time at his house. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what are you been out, playing man? and modding? Let's see. Um, Saturday night we played uh, Shredder's Revenge with a friend of ours and his family, and so we got all the way to Shredder, but we couldn't beat Shredder. Oh man! Uh, we need yeah. like eight people for Shredder. <laughs> yeah, we had well, we had a first grader, a third grader, and two grown men, and it wasn't enough. Oh but, yeah. man! And then besides that, been like I said, I built a riser for my my driving cab to get it. It was it's now it's basically a foot taller than what it was so really are you gonna yeah, do awesome. a video on that because I, I would be really interested <laughs> it was just scrap wood from the garage I, I, I need to see it i just need a picture or something <laughs> trade secrets trade there secrets that ain't there bad though yeah uh no, i messed it up so yeah uh, is your sound uh, uh marine 50 is asking if your site's down and he's getting an error i don't you know you have an issue I wasn't, uh, that's the first I'm hearing of it. So, the GI Joel, Joel Gaming came up for me on my end. All right, Galaga guy, guy, what have you been playing? And are you modding anything in your yeah, purest ways? In your purest ways? Well, I've been recently uh, taking back my boiler room. But besides <laughs> that, um, <laughs> what I've been playing. Is uh, actually I I kind of jumped the gun and uh, we were playing that Burger Time uh, party a little bit uh, with my wife, but also too I got back into Xenoblade Three. Um, I had played about thirty hours of it, and then I got onto Spider Man on my Steam Deck, and then now that I know it's Spider Man, I'm like, oh, I'll jump back onto Xenoblade and start playing that. Wait, and it wait, is wait like, did uh, you say you're done with Spider Man? The first one, yeah. I've been playing that game for years, and you got all the DLC. No, I didn't get. I didn't get all the oh, got, like, okay, I was gonna say, game. man, there's a lot to that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I got, I got two kids. So it's like, if I beat the main story, like I'll do some of the side quests, but I'm like, yeah, if I get the main uh, one done, I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> okay, okay. But um, yeah, Xenoblade Three. I'm again like 30, 30 hours into, and it's like anywhere between a seventy hour to a one hundred hour game. So. I'll probably play that for a little bit and then pick something else up. Maybe the Miles Morales um, Spider-Man Two on my uh, uh, Steam Deck, but um, yeah, that's what that's what I'm doing now. As far as modding, I actually just recently saw a uh, a rampage that uh, I have acquired, uh, and so I'm actually planning on changing that maybe into a Switch, uh, doing the Switch Deck and making that. I had one before, and I miss it, so I might end up just redoing that back into another switch switch deck uh mod in tech deck so that's what my uh, future plans are for right now but it's always up yeah. in the air in the boiler room sometimes i'm like i feel like doing this today and then tomorrow i feel like doing this so this yeah. is what it is <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm intrigued by the the Intech deck for the Switch. I was debating putting that in my House of the Dead cab. So yeah, it just there's it is. Yeah, I might, I might have one coming up too. So yeah, cool. I, yeah. So kind of sitting on that uh, on that uh, final fight cab that's still sitting Aww. in the storage gate that really needs to uh, needs to be done something with it. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, my old right, one. Um, I had uh, I had the Dragon Ball Z Fighters, and that was huge hit for a while. So if you're especially in those type of fighting games, the Switch deck is awesome. Yeah, like you're playing group, Princess group Peach. Project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or playing the Princess Peach game, right? You've been playing that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I mean, you never you know. know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Seriously, have anybody played that? Uh, I know my daughter has not let it down in the last okay. week and a half. So nice. it's good to know. So yeah, my daughter too. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a daughter. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right, Jay. What have you been playing, and what have you been modding? Well, uh, well, for the five minutes I'm able to play anything this week, um, I've been uh, messing around with my racing cab. So I I got, got Techno Parrot Daytona. Um, I'm not quite sure what version, but as I was telling Matt, uh, I actually got the uh, four switcher um uh, shifter working on um, the logitech sw- switcher and so i've been having a lot of fun just be- feeling like i'm in the arcade uh shifting and uh playing daytona i i, re- I realized that daytona song is really annoying <laughs> daytona. <laughs> and then they got a spanish version of it and so that kind of mixes it up so <laughs> but i'm like uh do there, is there any other song to this game <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's cool at first, but and then I'm like, oh my gosh, this is getting annoying. So, <laughs> well, uh, my uh, grandkids and stuff, they they wanted to watch me play it, and so, like I said, having that racing cab is uh, the first thing any anybody goes to before they play anything else. And I did play um Rampage uh, with uh, my uh, grandson. Um, I don't have a riser for it, so it actually fits perfectly at his height. So I would just sit in a chair and we were playing Rampage. And it's a really easy game for a, a four-year-old to play because all you do is smash a button and then he's like, wow, I'm doing something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's getting better with the controller and stuff like that. So he's catching on. So he's a lot of fun to play with. But uh, as far as modding, um, uh, as you can see behind me, I got another one, but I already had a Simpsons. So I decided to uh, do finally do that. Uh, I think technically not a technician is um, the guy who has a bunch of videos. The um, mod. Mod the, yep. And uh, he actually uh, hit me up and uh, he's, he's seen that I, I did it. I made a little short on it, just showing off um, what you could do. Uh, I, I'm going to probably do a, a video and just where to start because there's so many uh, uh, hag, there's so many modding videos out there. It's just really hard to figure out where to start. I'm just going to do a little short one just showing what mm-hmm where to start if you want to do one of these mods, but I uh, added Sunset Riders. Um, you can add the turtles to it. You can make a complete menu. You could add over a bunch of NES games if you want. I mean, it's a pretty much a multi-cade. It's an Android multi-cade, and it's crazy, all the stuff. You can even get, if you, with a little hardware mod, put Golden T on it. So with that, that, uh, sp- that uh, what do you call it, that trackball. So um, I'm going down that rabbit hole for a little bit. So, but uh, look for those. Um, it is if you all got a Simpsons cab from Best Buy, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot you can do with this cab. All right. So I mostly have been playing uh, on my uh, two handhelds that I picked up recently. The uh, the uh, two that you guys have done that I've picked up. And I've just been trying to go through the list and look at, you know, classics that I haven't played in years. Uh, so nothing particular, just kind of just cruising and just trying to find some games. Nothing in particular that I've been playing. As far as modding, uh, I did get my Akari uh, joystick that I'm going to just build just to have. And then I also built up one of those 1-6 uh, build a from uh, Glenn's Retro mm-hmm. Show as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to uh, be putting that little... Uh, Pi 3 that I bought, or not bought, that I won uh, during uh, uh, Phil's giveaway. Uh, I'm going to be putting a Pi 3 into that little uh, <coughs> build a cade So um, that's really kind of the only project or modding that I've got coming up. So I'm looking forward to getting into that and uh, checking that out. So 
Uh, gotta go, guys. Time for husband and father. See y'all later. Don't hit that like. Thank you, Ralphie. We appreciate yeah. you always uh, supporting the channel and uh, trying to help us get some subs and some likes. We really appreciate you, brother. You have a great night. Yeah, Ralphie's a good guy. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to touch base real quick on what Shot Shotgun Sean had said here. Anyone interested in the Nova Blast? It's shipping this month. Uh, he's going to replace his uh, TMT, uh, TMT, excuse me, um, Arcade One up with it. Have you guys been paying attention to the Nova Blast? I know a lot of people have been talking about it. Uh, I know we talked about it on Sunday night. Uh, Which TMT was... is it? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Is it the Turtles in Time? <laughs> the Turtles in Time? I don't know which one Shotgun yeah. Sean has. I, I think he's got the original one, so it probably is worth replacing, right? I don't know. I like the original look. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, mean, if you compare the two, if you put them on a scale, you can just, it, right? yeah. So you take the PCB from the Turtles in Time. And you put it in the OG one, and then you, you have the, the bus cab. <laughs> then uh, you I thought you were say put it to the Nova Blast. Then <laughs> 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 you can sometimes play online with the six other people. That yeah. well, you I know the Nova Blast. <laughs> the Nova Blast is something that's kind of interesting to me because I, I recently there was a good video that came out where everybody had hooked up multiple systems to it, multiple consoles to it, and it was playing really well. Uh, PlayStation 3, uh, PlayStation, I think they had a 5 to it, Switch, everything else. So, uh, With the that kind of... 19 yeah, Fox were... had a nice video, too, uh, going through the build uh, process of it, so you kind of see the quality and stuff. Yeah. So that was so, the other one. Other one. Uh, I was kind of interested in that, just because uh, for space-wise, could you imagine hooking up multiple consoles to one to one dedicated cab and having you know multiple um that was my main interest in it. i've always wanted a candy cab anyway um but i don't know where i would put it and i don't really want to put it in a storage cage i'd rather have it here mm -hmm. so i'd have to make some decisions on something that would have to go or something that would have to go to the storage cage and i don't know if i really want to do that so i'm keeping my eyes open i'm hoping maybe once they come out and they're out for a little bit maybe we'll get a good sale or something and then I can uh, maybe uh, pick one of those up. So, I mean, anybody else to, on the Go yeah? Ahead. Compared to what like Galaga guy has, if you're not able to get like a crazy deal like he got on the yeah. Trilux or Trilux, whatever you call that thing, yeah. Um, it, if you're in that market for one of those, it's a great option, mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah. for me, it's a miss because of the um, screen four by three it just seems it seems more of yeah. a modern thing that i would like you said want to hook a ps5 up or a ps4 or a xbox yeah. or a, even it. a switch and it seems and I, like that should be 16 by nine yeah that's that's what's throwing me i'm like if they had a different version of it i and think, I think I you would mentioned do... that i think we were in the chat on sunday yeah. night as well i don't think you were mentioning that too and we never really got a chance to talk about that but um and i am a little spoiled too because I, you know, locally, I do have a good arcade that has 20 or 30 of those mm -hmm. um, candy cabs in them and all, you know, original Japanese ROMs. You know, I can go for six bucks or seven bucks and go in there for hours on end and play if I want to. Uh, it's just different not having it in your house, but you know so what I mean? Are those, because when I went to that arcade in um, Detroit, they were 16 by nine. Mm -hmm. So was are the are the ones in your arcade are they four by three ish or are they are they those they, are uh, CRT wide? monitors so yes they are four, three. four by three okay because yeah. the ones I was seeing are newer and they are playing Tekken and and stuff like that yeah it just These are... it just you can you can crop a four by three to a sixteen by nine you can't can't do yeah. the opposite if you're if, if they're trying to push it for modern consoles and stuff I think that's where it's missing or yeah. if there's a way to pop them out and you know switch them um i just think there it just seems like there's not a lot of retro like i don't know because those are, are fighting cabs basically right they're yeah they're basically for fighters and and i know there's street the old street fighters and stuff but if you want to get modern fighters in there you're gonna you're gonna want the the wider screen i mean yeah 
It's my thing. Yeah. So what about the MVC? I know that's what Fox had on there. Is that four by three or is that sixteen by nine? I don't, I don't, I don't personally know. Is that normally a four by three cab that, that goes into? Or yeah, yes. it is. Okay. Yeah. So MVC and MVC two are like when they first came out, it's four by three. Yeah. Hmm. That definitely puts a damper on it because I didn't know this till till now. So, yeah, I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't know if I'd get one or not just because of what I already have. I don't yes, know. Sir. But I was thinking, you know, something that would be as simple as having an Xbox in or a PlayStation in, you know, I have, I'm going to put a PC in this one. Mm-hmm. That's what I plan on doing. That's mm-hmm. supposed to be here the next couple weeks. So, um, I was like, Oh, okay. Like maybe I could get that and just throw an Xbox in it and, you know, have taken a easier way to get to it if I wanted to. But now I'm like, uh, ah, four by three. I don't know. That's kind of stinky, but I, I will I've say it work. Was- I've seen it work and, but it, it will squish it. I've, I've seen somebody take the big blue and put uh, Street Fighter um, six. They, that six, yeah. Um, they put Street Fighter six in it. It looked okay, but it will. It did do the kind of flat bars on the top and bottom to make it make it kind of work. I mean, you kind of deal with it. Yeah, and I will say with this, like the Steam Deck that I just mentioned, the Steam Deck Intech Deck. Um, you know, we had obviously that's sixteen by nine. At least I think so. Um, and that was put to a four by three screen and I honestly didn't really notice it too much at all, but I, it's not that big either. It's not 26 inches, right? Is that what this one is? 26 inches. I believe so you might so. notice that a little bit more 27. Yeah. yeah. You might notice that a little bit more than you will with, with like a 17 inch. Yeah. Um, so a little that's bit. something else to consider. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's just lots of options out there in, um, but I, you know, like you were saying, Jay, it's something that I would want. Uh, if it was something I was interested in, it's definitely something you could definitely get one cheaper than you can get uh, a candy cab from overseas yeah. or or try to find one locally that's in good shape. So it's good to have options. I yeah. don't know if I would replace oh. anything arcade one up ish with it, if it unless it was a space issue. Yeah. Um, I don't see it replacing anything along that line because those are. Are more I'm this thing more 80s, 80s mostly in 90s. So and yeah. and I see a, those candy cabs as a more uh, like a just a fighting fighting thing. And uh, and I like fighters too. So I, I just think it's a different. It's like a shooter. How do you compare shooter to Pac Man? You know, it's it's just different ballpark. Yes, sir. Exactly. Exactly. And um, right. my main thing with that too is originally they said that two people could sit on it and be comfortable. Which the pictures I see, I don't know if that's quite the case. I kind of see Fox off to one side a little bit, yeah. and the other guy is kind of he's straight on, because that was the main thing, you know, with RK one ups, um, that it's very tight. So I thought something like that might be a nice medium, like okay, at least two people can f- sit here comfortably. But it's probably better than RK one up, but as far as that goes, space wise, but I, mm-hmm. I I couldn't tell by the pictures exactly, but it did look like it still is a little squished. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna still hold off until I see a you know hopefully a better sale or something on it. And, and yet again, the prices are not that bad. It's just no, you know, no. The do, price prices I know, think are are uh, in the ballpark. You know, uh, and and I'm hoping that they will sell enough units that they'll continue making them. I think I think that they will sell uh, tons of them uh, from what I'm seeing. So, uh, but yeah. You could sit on my lap, uh, Gal Gaga. I, I, I'm a very comfortable sailor. <laughs> wow. So, All right, MG. Wow. I come out of nowhere. MG's had a couple tonight. <laughs> He's from oh. Lucy Lucy. <laughs> oh. So, were you guys going to play on Sunday and I missed out because I was on uh, Biggie D's show? I don't. We were I, East, I was East. Yeah, we, it was East we were all going to play, but then we canceled because you weren't going to be there. Oh, <laughs> we man. Like, you left us for some now, other show. I was actually yeah. going to uh I was actually gonna message you guys on you know, I didn't have anything going on on Easter and I figured most of you guys were gonna be doing your normal thing for Easter, so but I was gonna say if anybody was available, I was gonna be uh, you know, free to play something and then uh, uh Biggie Biggie D shot me that uh message and asked if I could fill in for uh the bad guy. So uh so yeah. Um That was a good show. It was a good show. Uh 
Yes. <laughs> no Todd, no play. He holds the keys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You don't yeah, even show right. up half the time. Me and Matt are the ones who usually run it. Yeah, he's yeah, the glue yeah. that keeps this whole thing together, Todd. It's so it the truth. Todd's show. We're all just living it. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, to... we're just living it. Yeah. All right. He holds the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting <laughs> ring. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Joel. Cool Joel's ring. He was showing us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Matt. Uh, yeah, Joel had a very nice. That was a nice uh, gift there uh, for your fifteenth. That. I, I asked my wife, I said, where's mine? Because we're coming up on our on our 20th. So I'm almost in my 25th. So, I know you, that's a, you, you got me uh, thinking, Joel. That's, a, that's your, your problem, Joel. You give me so much FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> you need to... Uh, I, I showed those pictures to my wife, and I said, you need to outdo Joel's wife. I'm just saying. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so keep those pictures coming, because that definitely uh, helps me gain some extra stuff. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, oh, we're we're lucky guys, as, as Matt always said. We're blessed, lucky guys to have the women that we have in our lives. Yep. So, well, tonight's show we wanted to talk a little bit about, and I know we didn't put it in the the thumbnail or anything, but we wanted to talk Stupid about, AI. yeah, yeah, AI. You can blame the AI on it. Uh, we, we, wanted, we had the topic for the last week. We've been prepared. Yes, we've been fully prepared. It's just, you know, Todd putting up a, 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 a crappy thumbnail at the last minute. But we wanted to talk about uh, some things to improve the game room, things to add to your game room to make them, like, um, even better than they already are. And, uh, you know, I wanted some suggestions from these guys because each one of us has a little bit different style. We like to add different things. I don't like like walls that are like full of well excuse me I like walls that are full of stuff and I just haven't gotten a chance to put all my stuff out. Uh, but I wanted to hear from you guys some suggestions on on stuff to to put up uh, to make your game room or your arcade room like the ultimate setup. So uh, anybody want to go first? Anybody has got some suggestions or uh, um, things they want to recommend to our. Uh, uh, Viewers, G uh, uh, carpet. You guys getting nice pulled. Um, nice <laughs> carpet. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Have nice carpet, everyone. Buy big rugs and cover every bit of the floor, so that no one will ever see the disgrace that is your that boiler is room carpet. <laughs> uh, add all of you guys except Jay to make my game room the ultimate. I would add all of you guys. Okay. So Jay oh. Jay's the only one that's not gonna get added. Oh wow. uh, yeah. He, I told you. He's my personal troll. He's gotta come we, with me when I go to places. Do Can't we need to like place. get <laughs> is it possible, Joel, to put cutouts on our uh, on our merch shop where we have cutouts of each one of us? You know Yeah, but um, I don't think that's the friendship comfort thing that MG's going for there. I think he just wants <laughs> us to be there to build his arcade his <laughs> for him. He wants yeah. pillow. He but wants pillows can't... with our faces on them. <laughs> 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 well, I think we all need a cutout of MG in each one of our rooms. That's what we need. Well, I, like I don't even know what the man looks like, so <laughs> I know what he sounds like. Can I get a sound bite maybe of him? Oh yeah. <laughs> Watch PD Seven's walk and talk. Fill all your kinds of Target, Coles, Hobby Lobby, and etc. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's watched. He truly really does, though. <laughs> oh man. No, I uh, found out. I, oh, guys, I, I figured out. I was at work and I figured out what MG stands for. What was it stand for? He's a Muppet gangster. A Muppet gangster. <laughs> I'll be damned. How about that? He's a Muppet gangster. It looks yeah. like Henry Cavill. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like it. <laughs> because. Yeah. Because he calls hey, everybody hey, fat heads of the panel. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool, Joe? We could have our we could have our faces on all of these people's big, arcades. Big old. <laughs> what about our, our logo, a fathead logo, like in a like a, some sort of vinyl? Yeah, yeah. Would, I would buy that because it would be dope somewhere. We need to cut there. out our heads and no, like have our. I say like, no to the heads. No, we have my you know, heads on the stick. <laughs> you know, everybody. I'll has just take a head. picture. I'll just take the picture of you guys from Cleveland, and then obviously we got to get Gallagher guy in there. 
and yep. Jay in there next time. So exactly. we'll get we'll get in Chicago. We'll get in Chicago. Chicago's happening, guys. You, you got to order your jackets, okay? You got to order your jackets. All right. I'm doing a sweatshirt, like um, or your hoodie. Yeah. Or your hoodie. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got the I got to get that overtime in, so I, I can get them. You have no idea what I sound like, but picture bracket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like, All right, like <laughs> legends of the, the gangster. Yeah, like legends of the fall, Brad Pitt, or like seven, Brad Pitt, or like Fight Club, Brad Pitt. Like Ooh. which one? Yeah, they're all good. That's a tough one. Ocean's yeah. Eleven with a shaved yeah. head. Yeah. What about his little scene in Deadpool where he was like getting electric? <laughs> <Invisible man. laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that really was. Bad, I think really. my comments are blocked for violence. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> You're still chatting. All right, all right, Jay. Talk to me about this thing. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I got a uh, big old monitor doing some crazy stuff. So uh, we got these Duvu. What are they called? What do you? How do you say those? Yeah, Joel, uh, how do you pronounce that properly? Divu, vi- divum, divum, divum. Uh, uh, these little cool little screens and stuff like that, but they're like yes, 70 sir. bucks, 100 bucks, 100, and they're getting crazy. And you get to a point where TVs and stuff are like getting super cheap. I mean, you can go to the freaking gas station and get a TV for 30 bucks, man. They're, I mean, everybody's selling TVs nowadays. So I started looking into just taking like a regular monitor and stuff like that and being able to um, customize. uh, This one's for movies. I guess a lot of movie buffs and stuff like that are using these for uh, movie posters. They're making cases and stuff like that. And they're making these cool little boxes. And um, uh, they have them synced up where you can do like a hand motion and stuff. Okay, this movie. Chaotic. What's up, guys? Hey, chaotic. Hey, bright guy. Oh, man. So these are. I was worried about you. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Th- this is We're called. Missing Mo- one. We're missing oh, one. We're missing <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyway, this is called MoviePosterApp.com. If you guys want to check it out, it's a um, it's a program. If you want to pay for it, uh, it's ten bucks. Uh, you don't have to. It'll just be a little uh, thing that running the bottom i haven't been able to get to work yet but this thing will automate things like if you actually have a plex server or something like that it will um it will play the show the movie that you're watching and say now now playing so if you have a room up and stuff like that but you can also do like a individual um folder and you can have your own posters and stuff like that so it's a really cool um program that you can actually put in your game room you can put games up, movies up, or all kinds of things. Automate the thing. You could hook it up with an Alexa. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of cool things you can do with it that I'm going to be playing with and probably doing some videos on. But it's yes, yeah, it's, it's called Movie Poster App. I'll put it in the chat right now, the uh, the link if anybody wants to uh, check it out. Um, but yeah, it, I've been playing with it a little bit. Like I said, I don't. Ha- I've been working all week, but yeah, I, I just kind of. After seeing how much these things, these little screens are costing and stuff like that, I figure there's a better way. And, and so people are doing like animated movie posters, so they just kind of breathe, and they're doing all these really cool effects to them. So, and there's a lot of artists and stuff like that. He's working on like a, sub, a subscription, to like um, people making really cool posters and stuff like that. And there's a lot of game stuff out there and stuff. I'm showing some of them I found on online. Of, of different ones you could add to this thing. So, yeah, I thought that would be a co- cool accent. People want posters and stuff like that, but, you know, if you want to change things and kind of spice it up, I think this is cool. I think the automation part of it is really where the rabbit hole goes. It's nice. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, Chaotic. You're late to the party as always, brother. So fill me in, man. What's going on with you? Oh, nothing much, man. I'm just glad to be here and hanging out with all you guys. Um, been a rough day, but well, we're glad you're here, brother. I'm glad I'm here too. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking fancy tonight. Yeah, you're your lighting. lighting's like hot. You know, is this all new lighting, right? Yeah, it's I got like you. sharp. You got so, a chair. 
<laughs> yeah, he's got a chair, man. I'm like, yeah, what? He's got a chair. Got two light poles now because during making my T2 uh, video, oh shit. <laughs> um. So while making my T2 video, my ring light just busted. Oh yes, man. So got to take I'll, care of the green, uh, the the ring lights. So yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. We're not going to do that anymore. So. I uh, went to Amazon, grabbed two more different types of lights, and these are bright as hell, but <laughs> I'm wide awake. Well, you got to show off the beard. It shows off the beard, so that's that's the whole point, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I do have to say the, uh, the T2 video that uh, Chaotic did, that one, just Top shows how notch. easy that, that is. Oh, it is awesome. It's like, yeah. man, if I had a T2 right now, I'd be getting that because it he's just like makes it look so simple just to well how you want to go into a tangent. If we want to go into it, yeah. The tangent is 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 those awesome freaking guns that just got announced yesterday. And right when he does the mod. <laughs> right when you do the mod. And then I'm the guy. I'm the guy that's on on Facebook, and they announce it, and then I have to share with my peers here this cool gun that just like blows my mind. And of course, we're talking about multiple things, and I have to like ruin Chaotic's day because he gets this <laughs> he gets this cool notification from his friend. This is cool gun, <laughs> and then. He's got Next thing you know, it's like now he's gonna have to get like something different, right? <laughs> well, how much did it cost for you? Now well, I spent, I spent okay with shipping because they are just murdering you on shipping. Yeah. Ninety seven dollars for shipping, and I know what you're gonna say, guys. Why did you spend that money on it? I wanted the guns. Okay, they're they look nothing, awesome. Here, I, I have nothing share? wrong. I have nothing wrong with these guns. Nothing okay. wrong at all. I just, when you're playing something like um, some of the Time Crisis or some of the um, some of the other games that you know were had the beefier guns, that's what I wanted. And they're limited time. I'm sure they're going to be making more of them. Uh, but God, I just I couldn't. I couldn't turn it down. I paid four hundred and twenty six dollars for two guns. Four hundred and twenty six dollars for two guns with the uh what you call it, the uh twenty four volt thing coming. So here Todd, can you show everybody those? Uh yeah, uh, Jason, little alien put the, the, the link in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. So Here's the thing, like I looked them up today and it was like for only for one gun, it was like three hundred and six dollars after shipping yeah. and tax. Yeah, I got so, it up if you want to switch. How yeah, the yeah. hell did you get two guns for four hundred what four hundred and what? Four twenty six is what I paid. Uh let me bring this up here. Yeah. If y'all hadn't seen this, look at this. This, this it, is... it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Crazy. I'm sorry. And Matt, I wanted, I know you were kind of quiet yesterday and I completely understand, uh, but I wanted to get your thoughts on this. Uh, I know you don't have the retro shooter. Uh, I know it's not your thing, um, but, but I just kind of wanted to get your, uh, your thoughts and feelings on this gun, just from what you may have seen. That thing is um, sexy. I don't care who was <laughs> That is sexy. <laughs> So it has the it has the rocket launcher there on that little um, uh, little hand. So you got your rocket launcher there. It has the D pad on the front there, uh, so you can uh, uh, navigate with. So, yeah, I'm gonna mount these to the front of my T2. You're gonna mount them. <laughs> So can't are uh, they like interchangeable? Like if you already have it, you can just buy these and just like plug it in. That was the thing. That was the go. other thing too that I that when we were when we were talking and these were got announced, um, you can uh, basically these are just plug and play with the retro uh, shooter system if you already have the console uh, and you already have the sensors, the four IR sensors. This just interchanges these. Are, so you can keep the old guns. You can use these guns. That was kind of my thought and feelings too. Was that 
I could keep the the old guns, use them for the games that make sense. You know, if I'm going to be playing um, Duck Hunt, I'm not going to be using this gun. Uh, but if I'm playing something that's aggressive that I want this type of style gun or T2 yeah. or, you know, with the rocket launcher, that kind of thing, um, you know, um, yeah. So uh, I had to I had to do it. I had to do it. And uh, I know what people are saying. Uh, that's <laughs> PS5 money. Yeah, I know. I, I just, I couldn't. Yeah, what the heck, man? Where's PS5? <laughs> never pays the asking price. I never pays the asking price. So yeah. compare, these to the, compare these to the Sendons, though. I mean, I mean, I know they don't look as cool as this. I get that. But now it's like the, uh, these P-Dubs are... ordered one gun. Um, so the other thought that I was cool, um, and I, I'm not going to step away from what you're talking about, uh, um, Jay. Um, they did have an arcade type setup as well with a thicker cable and a nice mounting bracket that could go onto an arcade cabinet. Um, so um, that was the other thing, too. Of course, those are more expensive. Um, so, yeah. Um, but as far as sending the thing that the thing that this one is already calibrated for the retro uh, shooter system. So it's just a plug and play. If you already have the retro shooter uh, Pi system, then it's just plug and play and go. Yes. Sir. And then also it comes with the PC connector box, right? So you can exactly go ahead and hook this up to your PC and not even use the Pandora box at all. You can use straight up PC so you can play techno parent games. Mm-hmm. Stuff with this. These guns do, yeah. So that was the that, other thing you don't too. Need like, that adapter, yeah, it comes with the adapter. Okay, it comes so with the twenty-four volt adapter. Yeah, so yeah. it was like I had to. The second I saw it, I, you know, the plug and play just really got got me. But then you know the other options that you could do with it uh, in the you know in the long run. Cool. Um, but I'm surprised, uh, P Dubs, you didn't order two. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, Joel, remember on the or we like we both have sending guns, right? And so, right. but you, you ordered that kit off the of Etsy that puts like a bump stop on it and some other things. Do you still have that? Yep, I'll we grab can, it. We can compare yeah, apple can to apple. So this is what I'm, because those retro shooters were made to like compete with the sending guns, right? I mean, that was the whole point of them, but. Sinden's kind of responding to that too with their pricing. I mean, you can get two with recoil for three hundred bucks now. Okay. Don't buy that pedal. That pedal's a joke. But um, so I, I think I, competition's good, obviously, because yes, now Sinden is uh, responding. I mean, you hopefully can get we don't get shut down for flashing all these. Uh, yeah, hopefully we won't. But it's so, red, so yeah. Go yep. backwards with it. <laughs> so th- this kit that Joel has, he got it off of Etsy, and so it, so it turns a normal sending gun into a, like a bu- has a little bump stop on there. Yeah, it's dope. So how but, much was that? Uh, that bump stop. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look it up again. I mean, I looked at I looked at those options as well, Jay. And I mean, yeah, you could yeah. do that That's to dope. the to the retro gun. Um. <laughs> as well there was options out there people that were making them uh for it but uh yet again um <laughs> look at yeah, pull, pull up out. those links but uh, joel's got the whole arsenal but uh, <laughs> yeah yeah but i just I, I saw that gun and like i said i i don't know what it was i just i couldn't couldn't pull out my credit card fast enough it was just <laughs> And uh, you guys weren't helping me. You got you guys were just uh, not saying stop. You kept just you know that's you, not you, our you weren't egging, hit. <laughs> you weren't egging me on, but you weren't like saying y'all need to stop. And then like nah, it's, if anything, it's we like, failed to continue to encourage you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that made me look at what the Todd wants to play Rainbow now. Six with us. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I just I'm I'm like extremely. Uh, extremely ecstatic and i think it's like 20 to 30 days when they're supposed to be shipping out is mm-hmm. at least what the uh the email that i got said so i'm pretty... so could someone compare like if it's a plug and play like you you can even hook up to your pc maybe compare and see how it does 
um, versus like a send in, like how well it calibrates and you know shoots and the well, you setup need that AR everything. sensors for those. You need yeah. those sensors for uh, the retro shooter. So I don't know if you, how does that if you already had the kit and you already had the four IG IG sensors already. So so these come with the sensors. Uh, no, if you already had the retro kit and you told them you had the retro kit. Um, oh, I wouldn't have told them then if they got extra sensors. No. Because then you could have put, you had two spots. Well, there's, they, they, as they were like doing the pre orders, because people were asking questions on Facebook, they kept asking uh, things as well. So, how much the sensors? I'm going to use this machine gun with a PC build, but occasionally plug it into the retro shooter modded. Yeah. See, that's, I think that's, uh, I know Detroit Love's got the send ins. So he's but I'm been... just surprised, P Dubs, that you didn't buy two. Because, I mean, for the same price, I mean, look at that price comparison to. But I get it. it you, you don't need to. You don't need to. But if you got. Yeah. If I've got a 14 year old that's going to want to probably play all the cool, cool games on the uh, on the Pi 10 with me. So, yeah, so how know. much is Glenn's? Glenn's thing though. Looks like the stock kit. I just put the link in the um, chat, but it's like seventy-five bucks per gun. Yep. Okay. So, you get it a little cheaper if you don't want to buy the hardware, the screws and stuff. If you want to get those at your own, yeah, hardware store, or you have a plethora of them out in your workshop, but. This is why Todd looks so excited today. Because <laughs> of the gun. To shoot stuff. <laughs> I have all these links in uh, show notes too in uh, Discord. So if you guys uh, don't catch it, catch it on the replay, uh, join the uh, Arcades Anonymous Discord and check out show notes. So everything we're talking about is going into the show notes. It does awesome. have. Uh, I have a lot of light guns here. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I guess uh, that does make sense, P does. I guess that does. Gotcha. I mean that's not a bad price if you think about it to to you know do that to your sending, but at the same time. And so you chaotic, I sold you form so I sold... or uh, gun form, whereas I you're kind of fixed with that uh, retro shooter, right? That you were showing. It's the stock's fixed on the end of it, correct? The one that you just ordered, Todd. What do you mean? It, lo it looks like it is. I think yeah. that the stock is fixed to the back, right? So yeah. It's, yeah. Yep. So Todd doesn't like to share this. What he's saying is what he's saying. No, he's saying that you don't. Todd like doesn't to like to share. share. So, so two versus one, right? He's saying. Oh, that yeah, he yeah, does, yeah. He does, a, he does shares and you don't share. No, I don't share. <laughs> no, no, no. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that's the that's the one kid syndrome, right? Where I, you know, I was a one kid the only child in the house and now that i have a daughter and she's the only child in the house it's like i have a sibling so it's like i have to have my own ps5 and she has to have her own ps5 uh -huh. if not we're just we're just like you know so anyway so chaotic I'm not you are definitely in. getting this or you are you like i mean i'm gonna have to hold off i gotta i still gotta pay for this 4kp and like well, yeah, i know you do i know you do i know you do but <laughs> but yeah you if, really if, considering this Absolutely, I think it looks dope. <laughs> well, enjoy what you just built first. Give that a oh, like I a am. month <laughs> because that thing looked awesome. <laughs> I think I, I wouldn't be hating and be if you want to enjoy that. I mean, that that thing, like, that I had thing a, sweet, <laughs> it had a big software update today. I want to know what it did, like, Guess did so. it add more games or not? Because it took like an hour. I'm trying to give yeah, Glenn a to shout it. out here, but I don't see where he sells his products. Um, on, uh, I know because he's got his boomstick too, right? Yeah. And his well, website. If you haven't doesn't... seen that chaotic uh, video about that T2, though, go check it out because it is is pretty awesome. Buy stuff for sure. Yeah. And and you know, yes. buy stuff was in the chat talking when they were talking about this new gun. So it's like you know they're fully aware of it, and you know whenever they get fully aware of that kind of stuff, you start seeing them start rolling out with new stuff. So. Hopefully they uh, they ordered just like we did, and as soon as they get it, we'll see some some cool products come out from those guys as well. 
So. I can see like the deck having a, a extender for like a side mount, so you can drop them yeah. in there. Yeah, I can uh, see now, that too. One thing I'm really curious about that thing is the uh, recoil. If the recoil is any better, it's it. <laughs> it the kickback looked awesome on the video. <laughs> You're right, P Dubs. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I I I'm just horrible. I'm horrible. <laughs> He's a selfish shooter. <laughs> a selfish shooter. <laughs> so i feel like too uh like glenn's glenn's gun would be more for like you know hunting you know buck hunter, hunter type of games yeah compared to this looks like it'd be more for your uh fun action shooters that's the way that one looks <laughs> well like todd said they're interchangeable sometimes you want a hand pistol and sometimes you you want to like uh, if you're playing uh, and we're only talking alien versus versus predator or, or something like that or aliens and stuff like that that feels like you should have a a bigger gun yeah i mean yeah. i bought this system the retro shooter kind of as an all-in-one and, and knew that i was getting something that was um i don't want to say limited but knew that i would have limitations to it and now with this extra gun it feels like i have more options so it's worth the money to me to have the other option to have a different gun. And we're only talking about trading out cables here. We're not talking about, you know, it's a plug and play type option, you know, a whole nother system. Yeah. We're, we're, you know, so I, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Of course, don't tell my wife. Cause I haven't told her that I ordered them yet. So everybody be quiet. It's like, I thought you're getting a PS five. I thought you were <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> oh i'm gonna have to yeah i'm gonna have to work on that one so i digress <laughs> oh we're here so, to help welcome to the welcome to our weekly meeting of yeah where we're buying where stuff we, we make don't you need. spend more money so please pre i got a, your guns i got a now. deal he didn't <laughs> I you spent more like on I that. You could have bought. Paid, you could have bought a lot of, of money on shipping. Okay, you could have bought three of these. Me. You could have had three Simpsons in your uh, arcade right now. The ninety set, the ninety seven, uh, the ninety seven dollars for shipping was rough, but why is it ninety seven dollars? I don't understand. It's overseas. That. It's DHL overseas. Oh my gosh! Yeah, for me it was it was uh, seventy eight bucks. <laughs> I guess you're Chaotic. closer because you're you. Atlanta or something. I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it just goes to show you don't need a gun to rob someone. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta sell them the gun. <laughs> so this video will be used in the exactly. I love it. Exhibit, Exhibit A. A. Yeah. Exhibit A. <laughs> oh man. Anything too big, I gotta ask my wife. I even asked her to buy this, and I knew it was a good deal. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> she helped me bring it downstairs. Yeah, she was. I had stuff in the car that had just been piling up that I needed to bring in the Bill Decade, the uh, Akari Warriors joystick, the uh, the new wave toys from the from the damage lot. Those were still in there, and I brought them all into the house and put them in the bed because they needed to go to their certain places. She's like, where did all this stuff come from? It's like came from the car. <laughs> it's just been sitting on it. <laughs> I got, oh, just I got no pushback on the Simpsons cab when uh, I was explaining why I was leaving out the door. Yes, sir. Uh, after driving in the car for four and a half hours the night previously. <laughs> it's like, they're saying Best Buy uh, has got Simpsons cab for $139. She's like, okay, honey, deal. see you later. <laughs> see, <laughs> see you later. Yeah, my wife encourages me. She encouraged me to get it at $250, so... Oh, oh man! Getting another one was like a no-brainer for that much. I mean, just parts alone, like we were talking, parts alone for that. <laughs> you could sell, piece it out, and sell it. Ooh, Go try to buy an RK One Up monitor right now. Well, probably not anymore because the market's going to be flooded with Simpsons pieces and parts. Yes, probably so. so. You think so? Though, how many people really knew about people that? Buying four of them at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just so that, that, that was a yeah, shame. That was a yeah. shame. That was yeah. So, they were, that's that's what you bought. It. You should have only bought one if you really wanted one. You should have just bought one. But clearly, there's people out there taking oh, yeah. advantage of the system. So yeah, and it's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah, like like just like the the coin doors. Like there's certain things you could part it out. Like and still make money. Mm-hmm. Like to stole yeah, sixty seventy bucks for a coin door. Yeah, you know, piece. And there's two of them. 
<laughs> eBay. Yeah, eBay those stools especially. Like you're looking at a hundred bucks for a screen, and yeah, yeah. PCBs, you know, fifty to a hundred bucks easily. Yeah. Yep. And the deck alone, the four the four player deck, you got all the buttons and joysticks and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. Light up marquee. Come on, guys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that alone is worth how much money? You can barely see it. One money. How much is it worth? One money. One, and this thing one is money. <laughs> the thing is completely hackable too. The the PCB is an um a multi cade just waiting to be played with. So mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so back to our normal program oh, yeah. here. Right. We went on a tangent. Anybody else want to share something to add to their game room? I know you guys have got tons of ideas. Chaotic, you were late to the show. I know you've got some some cool stuff you probably want to recommend. So uh, anybody anybody want to uh, – Chaotic, if you want to go, man, hit it. If not, anybody else want to step up? I'll go after Brian if he, if he wants to go. Yeah, so like black lights, if y'all hadn't talked about it yet. The uh, the ones that I did in the video for like upgrade your room for less than fifty bucks. These these mountable black lights I have above me. It's hard to bring up my camera if you can see them. Oh there, yeah, there they are. Oh yeah, I remember you were getting those. Uh, there we go. There they are. Yes, sir. Yep. Those black lights oh, are. Yep. Yeah, I got three of those on my ceiling, uh, going all the way across. Three of them for like thirty six bucks, and I mean they are powerful. Uh, awesome. the range is really good on them. Uh, I think Bobby Vu even did a did a uh post about them last yesterday, uh, for like a two pack for like 30 bucks. But oh, come on, get, MG, you can get don't, three of them. Don't worry about the wires. Come on, MG. No, man, I don't that, hide wires, that, man. I got that's, pro that's proper, that's Wait. proper management right there. Don't look, worry look about at, it. Look at, look at a proton <laughs> box, you know, no, that's <laughs> proper management right there. Don't worry about it. That's my proton pack that I got hooked up to. Uh... <laughs> so I don't know. Those are really, really good. Um, of course, you know, like fluorescent carpet posters. If you if you have anywhere to put them, I don't because I got a big old fireplace that I don't even use. So you uh... use tape on your cabs too to make that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The tape. Uh, can't see it right now because these big old giant floodlights that I got on my face, but. Normally, if you watch my uh, my room tour, game room tour, um, you can see it really good in those. And that tape, man, is you get like a big old six pack for like twelve bucks. Just line up. You can line up the uh, team molding on your cabinets, man, and, and it pops. Pops really good. I can see just your joust right now. It, it, yeah, it, really joust, on camera, it, yellow... it really does pop from the yeah. angle that you're at, even yeah, with yeah, your scary. flood lights on. So, yeah. Yeah, so those those are really cool. The black lights and fluorescent carpet. But what else? Uh, I also got like a little astronaut that astro projects like galaxy and stars on the ceiling. Kind of adds to the ambiance and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Govi Govi lights, um, especially the ones that have like multi sections and do multi colors and all that. Those are really cool to have. So, there's awesome. a lot of things you can do. LEDs All right. everywhere. LEDs everywhere. Yep. Yeah. All right. Your your mod you did with the uh, I arcade speakers. I just found that, and I was like, "That is oh, yeah, a, short. Yeah, that is a really cool idea. I I, I think I'm gonna do that. I, was I like, got the idea from Matt. That's yeah. That's a very simple mod, and I'm like, man, that just really adds something to the the whole <laughs> cab. Is just add. <laughs> Oh, MG, we love you, buddy. We love oh, you. Man. You're taking over the chat, man. You're taking over the chat. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Matt. You got some suggestions you wanna you wanna bring to our uh, viewers tonight? Oh yes, sir. Mine's kind of like old school. Like it, <clears throat> this goes back Sunday via personal chat. Yeah, yeah. And so we went over to family members, and then like that came home with me and all that stuff oh, oh yeah there this. she is wow and so anyway and then i have like all of i have like the Wii, and i have the wii u and then the switch and then i have some what like the dreamcast box and stuff and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a shelf up there so it because i have the, the ceilings and it does the same thing on this side as well and so i'm going to basically build a, a shelf all the way in and then put all those systems above there as like on oh display, that's awesome to show them 
Because if not, they just sit in the closet and they're too cool like to have and not show them off. And so and I'm blessed that family members like they're like, what is this? I had this and I found this. Like, tell me what it's worth. And like I was going like crazy. And then they're like, here, you just have it. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. That so, works. Yeah. Do you guys keep boxes? I do. My wife yells, thinks I'm stupid, but I keep like I got my PlayStation three, four, five. Xbox One. I have like my graphics cards. Uh, anything I buy, I have a whole. I don't know what to do with them, but like you said, Matt, maybe build a shelf to display them all and stuff. Yeah. It, it depends on what it is. You have to like. I I have to go through and think about it for like a, a couple of days. Do I want to keep this box or do I want to trash this box? Because you know, is it going to be something that eventually? may have some value to it or is it something that you yeah, know like this we'll arcade have... one-up box is going in the trash as soon as I open it. yeah yeah but <laughs> yeah. but no it's like honestly there's like sometimes you have to think about those things but you know like good example like this right here <laughs> your wife's <laughs> dogging you out right now <laughs> i know she is <laughs> <laughs> but like you know do i keep this box even though you know it's just a little handheld yeah you know, but at the same time, it may be worth something later on down the road. Who knows? Funny or, story. Or Funny. it might be good. It might be good to have in a display on a shelf, like what Matt's talking about. Mm-hmm. Looking up and saying, "Man, look at that! The graphics on that box is cool." And here's that. So, funny Ryan's got story. Funny story. Yesterday, it was yesterday. Okay. Uh, in behind the arcades, behind the joust, I had boxes stacked all the way up to the ceiling of just yes, eight bit dough controllers, Xbox headsets, mm-hmm. controllers. Uh, <laughs> God, I had uh Govi like boxes, everything that I could think of. Anything that I bought in like the past year, I've just I stacked it up all the way to the ceiling. Okay. And my wife looks at that huge stack of boxes. She goes, Are all those empty? And I said, Yes. She goes, throw them away now. I said, yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, there you go. That's, that's, so that's threw, what uh, threw away all those boxes. We keep it. <laughs> the only ones I kept was my PS4 because it's actually in the box and the PSVR, which is actually in the box too. But yes, sir. Everything else is gone. And I'm kind of better about it. So I just had to let it go. <laughs> so here's I, what I found out is yes, that sir. the uh, inside of these. Uh, RK one ups is very empty, and you could put a lot of boxes in those <laughs> <Just> <laughs> boxes inside. Well, of you boxes. are right. <laughs> yes, you are That's right. That's what I did with a lot of mine. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just throw them all of these RK one ups. <laughs> oh, man. Man. All my new like, Why is this thing so flammable? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I am kind of worried about the airflow. I'm like, Ooh, I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt anything. But I'm don't, like, don't yeah, put them in a box blitz. with them. What's the, what's the ones yeah. don't put them in a blitz and what are other ones that overheat? <laughs> pinball machine, pinball machine. Don't throw them in your pinball machine though. That's oh man, weird. I always have to double check before I sell them too. Like, is there any boxes in the back of this? Like, I don't want to <laughs> sell it. And there's boxes in the back that I need. Yep. And so. then I I sold a handful of cabs and nobody ever wants the box. Like, I had the box. Would you like it? Like, no, no, I don't need the box. No. So. There's a Facebook marketplace listing of a guy that's locally that's like just selling boxes of arcade one ups, just the empty box. Wow. How much is he getting for him? I don't know. I don't remember. I just <laughs> laughed at it, but yeah. I think he was There's asking people like, who buy them for like consoles. Do 100 stuff. bucks a yeah. box for a box. Wow. Do you guys honestly like think that'll make it worth more money in the end like if someone has a box with their arcade one up that's already built? Yeah. Well, I don't I'm think so. Apart. I only keep the uh, new wave toy inner boxes. Yeah, yeah. Me that, too. Yeah. Those. So uh, when are those shipping out to me, Galaxy guy? Uh, <laughs> when are those? <laughs> when are those reaching me? Uh, That's oh, part of your. Points. Whenever. So join the club. <laughs> yeah. Whenever when, I went to Cleveland, you guys were there in Cleveland too. Yes, I was sir. like, man, I should just bought up all the new wave toy stuff because, man, those things go for so much more. They were so cheap there too. I was like. Why did I just buy up everything they had? <laughs> no, yeah. like when when they were wrapping up, I was like really like 
kicking myself that I didn't go over there and grab a couple of those cabs. And Did then Stock Jock get like a like Stock a, Jock got one of the last uh, a, ones in the, the box? Uh, Tempest. 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 Yeah. yeah. Yep. And um, I'm kicking myself now, but uh, so yeah, yeah, he bought the last yep. uh, New Wave Toys Tempest. Yep. So, and we were talking about that on the show the other night about why isn't New Wave Toys releasing, re-releasing that. So, um, yeah, I mean, free money, man. like, take my money, take my money. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm late to the party. I want those <laughs> cabs. Look at Kevin's comment. Oh yeah, <laughs> those boxes are valuable in case you're homeless. <laughs> hey, yeah, you yeah. Yeah. A nice house out of that. <laughs> <laughs> you might, you just might. So you keep, keep your, your pin box from up <laughs> Yeah. So, but I do have some things too that um, I want to point out. Just some things you can add um, to your game room or to your RK one ups that. Um, might be you know just a little extra um there actually is someone on etsy that i i've bought in stuff from for years now and he does like cup holders which you can kind of see oh yes sir. here on my on my burger time um and i've done it for probably i'd say half a dozen if not a dozen of my um rk one-ups um as well as my Vulex, he does Vulexes too. Um, I yeah. believe, believe his name is 3D Arcade Graphics. Is that what it is? Yeah, 3D I was Arcade trying to pull up his designs. Ac- yeah, I was trying to pull up his actual um, store. Uh, store, and I don't know why it won't give me the like actual. Did you put a link in? I, I seen the link. Yeah, I put a link in the actual um, uh, in our in our group chat. I don't know if you're able to pull that up or not. Um, you put it in the YouTube chat? Uh, no, I put it in in our no, can you? private chat. No. Let me see. Let me try to try to do that here. I think this but, is one of those, yeah. Yeah, there's a red yeah, it's, yeah, If you go to just click on his uh his name there, it should uh click on click oh, on that and then here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep. There we go. I don't see anything yet. Nope. Yes. Like, see anything. No, sir. Oh, I just uh, see it. I see a ridge racer. It went to it online. went to a different thing. My bad. I see it, but you guys don't see it. So that's that's the problem. Okay, that's that's the thing. Can you put here, it, <laughs> here we you go. Put it, yeah. Can you put it in the? Chat? You got it. Oh, he's got it. There, there it is. See, that's easier um, said than done, Jay. You you. We need to talk <laughs> about that. Okay. <laughs> but this guy, I mean, like I said, I bought stuff for years. Look at this cup. For the for the, I didn't mean to cut you off there, buddy. Yeah, uh, look me. at this, look at this for his uh, for the uh, Adams family. That's pretty cool. Oh, Adams God. family. Yeah, the... uh, and he's Adams always making cup stuff. If you have anything like specifically, you're like, hey, um, like I had a, uh, my original Galgo machine. I was like, hey, could you make a Galgo one? And he's like, yeah, man, whatever you need. Um, and he has just all types of cups. Um, I, I've yeah, the Galaga one that's actually he made that specifically specifically for me. Um, and he just started like keeping it in his store uh, because they started selling well apparently. But um, I have it for my Blitz too because um, on my Blitz, obviously the deck it it, it is uh, tilted, mm-hmm. so you can't really um, put any like you know if you have a drink or something. So I have it on my Blitz so you can put something up at the top instead of worrying about putting it on the deck itself. Um, even has stuff for um, your uh, speakers on your RK One Up uh, uh, pinballs if you want to do that. And he even had stuff for my Vulix. Like he was like, "Hey, I also make these too for Vulix if you want something." So he's a real nice guy. And um, uh, I, like I said, I've ordered for him for years, and he's he's real uh, real good about getting back with you, and making sure you're getting stuff right away. And if, even if you have a special design or something you want, you know not too expensive and adds that little flair to your arcade cabs. So yes, sir. definitely someone I recommend. And also this is a little hack about Etsy. If you leave it in your cart for a couple of days, normally they'll give you some sort of discount code to, yep. to buy something. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Yep. So just leave it in your cart for a couple of days and they'll give you like five or ten. <laughs> Todd sees it, but you don't sort of like the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got him. Guys, what's up? We're still talking. Cornicade. What are you doing? Yeah. You must have had dinner and came it. back uh, to us. 
Jason found it too. I uh, got it in the show notes too. Cool. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. Holy. So definitely. Um, that's one heck of again, a list, MG. <laughs> yeah. And again, if you're like, hey, I have a specific bucket. arcade one up, and you tell him, like, he will, he he's very good about, okay, yeah, what would you like it to look like? And he will just make it for you. <laughs> like, like, usually, I can't guarantee anything, but uh, yeah, he's real good about that. That's sweet. It's always the little details, too, that matter. You know, it's always like the little things, cup holders, or, you know, just the little, little stuff that you bring to the cabinet that always just makes it a little bit better but i always like the speaker grills you know when you jazz those up uh or anything like that so um pretty cool stuff looks like he's got some glow is that glow in the dark stuff too i guess yeah um a lot of stuff like uh i used to have the um the attack from mars pinball and that stuff does glow too as well as on the actual speakers themselves um hmm. and then cool. too a lot of, uh, especially when you're playing pinball too, where you put your drink down, uh, if you have a, you know, a beer or let's say you just have a, a cup in general, having that, you know, you don't want to put that on the glass or next to the stuff. You don't want to end up knocking it over somehow. Yeah. So it is, you know, really convenient to have. Um, so the guy, he actually is in, uh, I think it's, he's on the Facebook, uh, the original arcade one up Facebook page. Um, and his name, I think his first name is Matthew on there and he advertises every once in a while, but I always promote him cause he just has always done a good job for me. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's pretty awesome. Yep. So, uh, 3d arcade designs on Etsy, uh, check them out. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously some cool stuff on there. Uh, might have to order some stuff cause I've got some odds and ends that I want to get done. So. All right, anybody else? Anybody else want to add some? Joel. Joel's got a lot of stuff. Come on, Joel. You got like you need to add stuff Joel's to got... all your. Oh, yeah. You guys got a lot of counter cages. Um, I suggest <laughs> maybe getting stands for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have lame risers, <laughs> maybe get some inline risers to make them deluxes. Or if you need a nice hat. Uh, get some gun holsters for those five hundred guns, five hundred dollar guns, Todd. Yeah. There you go, Joel. <laughs> Yo, you sell hats? Sell I don't hat. know what he's talking about, man. Your yeah. your hat on your store. Arcade. Yeah, the merch. Hat. Plug merch. the merch. Oh, the merch. Yeah. Plug the merch. I don't make as much off of the merch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't want to plug the merch. You don't want to plug his own merch. <laughs> he's like hat. What? <laughs> Hat? I don't want a hat, no. <laughs> I don't got no hat. He came over. He's wearing it. <laughs> Too much awkward silence. Come on. <laughs> I was trying to find the box eBay listing or the marketplace listing. I can't remember if it was on marketplace or eBay. Uh, there's a couple on eBay, though, where they're wanting like Ooh. 50 bucks for the box and then another 50 to ship it. There you go. Boxes, street you gotta go. No there. way. No so way. A cool way to show off all the YouTubers' uh, logos, like Stock Jog, nice. Game of Fridge. Yeah, Happy look at that. Joel. Yeah, Joel. Yeah, Joel. Look at that logo right there. That looks Multi awesome. Multi Matt. Multi Matt. That is Multi cool. Anonymous. Hey, hey, hey. Go retro. Yo retro. retro. Yo retro. It just keeps cycling through. That's dope. Yep. Yep. So not one thing, uh, here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, one thing that's been kind of, you know, touched on by uh, chaotic too, is just lighting in general. I think, uh, um, she lion and, uh, Michael B brought this up on their last, last stream that he had her on. And, uh, you know, you put your arcades up and you want to have a certain, like, essence to everything and then you then you turn them on it's like ah it doesn't quite work now because they're all on so it's like getting that proper lighting is always just such an awesome thing to do too so this is one of the things that can, that can contribute to that is having these screens up and just kind of uh you know giving your the feng shui of your arcade to make it feel more like an original one is having something like this <laughs> you gotta put mg on there too just put mg 
<laughs> yeah, the logo I made. And what you imagine shirt. his face is? Just put the Muppet. I'll, I'll make one. It's a Muppet gangster. It's the Muppet, Muppet gangster. gangster. He doesn't promote the merch. It, it promotes itself. Exactly. <laughs> hey, what up, Kevin? He's new and he's been he's been killing it in the chat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Richard Dell is in the house. Yo yo. I have a log. <laughs> I mean a logo. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say a log. You might want to go to the bathroom. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> and a log are we talking about? <laughs> oh don't man. be a hog. Hold your log. Anyways. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, so those little uh, screens and stuff, the like I, I was showing off mine, but the uh the D boom one I was that's a lot. Uh, Joel has a bunch of those sitting around his arcade too. How so many those of those are... do you have, Joel? I only have one. Uh, one? I you have more than one. I swear you. He only says I have a bunch of them. I only He's got have a one. bunch, man. I, I, I have was... the pixel too for the arcade or the at games. Mm -hmm. That's scrolling through uh, marquees. So that it's kind of like that, but I yeah I just have those two. You can see it right. Right there. He's got so many arcades that is they they rotate his own stuff. <laughs> All right, too much awkward silence. Too much awkward silence. Come on now. Anybody else have any suggestions for these people to make their ultimate arcade? You need a <laughs> this kid's like, uh, display. Yeah, I need yeah. to do that. Oh, that. What? oh yeah, I score arcade. Yep. Yeah, I score display, yeah. Yeah, even just a fire yeah, stick, and you can browse the website on a TV. That's what's yep. up there. So yeah, it's you know fifteen twenty dollars on a TV. It works. And get you get you like a twenty four inch sixty dollar TV from Best Buy, and yep. fire stick and set it up. Or if, if the TV is smart, you can do it that way too. Yes, sir. Some sort of browser. And if you're uh, playing this week, it's Frogger. Frogger. Exactly. Frogger score. Post those to iScore at Arcades Anonymous. Let's get those scores in. So, uh, love to see uh, some competition out there this week for some Frogger. You guys Frogger. got your own. Uh, oh, Tom Jones. Babe's going to kill all y'all. No, she's not. Yeah. No, she's not. Let's go. Who's going to kill us all? Hey, Retro Lizard. Retro hey, Lizard's in the house. The logo on my Daboom. Yeah. Hey, Joel. And. This uh, this guy's been trying to get his uh, Facebook back up and running really well since he got it hacked. Uh, what was it last last year, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's about a year ago now. So he's trying to get up to five hundred um, followers and likes. Is that right? Yeah. Quote me on that. So uh, if you haven't, if you uh, search Retro Lizards Custom Arcade, he's the one without the. The many followers on there. Um, if you could give him a like and follow him, uh, I just recently did that as well. He's got a giveaway coming up once he hits 500. So uh, that you got to also. He's subscribe. not the one with a bunch of subs or uh, likes and followers that's selling Viagra. <laughs> yes, he is not the one selling the Viagra. So please. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if you could uh, hit him on the business page. Uh, he would greatly appreciate that. Let's get him to 500 followers. Get yeah, him Facebook back needs to come up with a better system to get so, your your stuff wait. back. That's so ridiculous. He's not the one selling Viagra. Oh, don't no, buy Viagra from Retro Lizard. No, oh, it ain't the real stuff. Man. It ain't gonna work. Retro Lizard. <laughs> I'm so sorry about all those questions I had. Anyways, <laughs> also follow uh, Bill Tindo. Uh, that's also part of the giveaway as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's just start watching is him. It, is it he's... required or is it maybe a Retro Lizard can tell us in the thing? If somehow we make it to a thousand, he's throwing in a collector's edition. Okay. Cool. But yeah, don't forget uh, Bill. Bill as well. Yeah. Yep. So here's yeah, something and his stuff... not for your guys' game rooms. If you guys got your own little JoJo's running around at your house. We got one of these tokens for when awesome. mommy comes in and we're playing games. We can flip it and it helps us decide. Time to go to bed. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That I is like. cool. One more game. So mommy comes in and she's like, it's time for bed. We're like, 
we gotta flip the coin. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta flip the coin. Awesome. Every once in a while, we get an extra play out of it. That's a good idea. I like that. Awesome. Cool. Oh, Tears of the Kingdom uh, OLED. Uh, no problem. No problem, Retro Lizard. You've been part of our channel before. We appreciate you as well and uh, love helping you out. Let's hope you get to 500. We know yeah, we, we helped Rascal. We'll, we'll know we'll get you to 500. Uh, no problem at all, but uh, want to definitely help you out, brother. So, uh, Todd, can I come on the show now and stay until y'all get up to 1,000 subs? <laughs> Only 972 away. Shouldn't take too long. long. Yeah. Wow, man. We're getting a reputation. I can't stay up late tonight, guys. I got to. Somebody's got to go to work, right? Yeah. I got to be up at two in the morning. So. Yeah. He was invited to the boys' night or boys' day, but. We need one of those if we get Galaga88 on the stream. (laughs) Ah! (laughs) Time for. (laughs) Can we have one of those custom printed, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, they want to kick us off, go, go, go. What the heck? Oh, to the man. Club. We are, you're periodically getting kicked off every week. Be careful. Last time this channel requests everyone sub someone, they broke a thousand. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, exactly. We we, we broke. We, no, broke. we just got to get our own channel to. We, just, <laughs> we we can get other people to a thousand. It's just us. We can't seem to this, get to a thousand. Are we up to two forty four? Yeah, somewhere in there. Uh, Todd, are you complaining? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, God, I'm no, complaining. Geez, man, what the heck, man? Oh, no. No complaining, man. No complaining. No complaints here, guys. No complaints here. No complaints here. here. No. no complaints. I'm not complaining. Not complaining. I'm happy with, with 245 or 248 subs. You guys rock either subs, way. The subs don't matter as long as you're doing, you know, just keep doing what you like. Yeah. We love what subs. we do, right? We have fun. The road to 235. Yeah, there you exactly. are. Exactly. There you are. Yep. We're not if leaving. You wanna, if you want to be successful and get more subs, you might want to pivot your content from <laughs> Arcade One Up. Yeah. Yeah, and, and become a purist, right? Pinball. I hear pinball is the thing to go to. Pinball or uh, what? What is that? Uh, is that shuffle golf still a thing? Or can we pivot yeah, to that? Can we? Can we get subs dead. off of that? That's dead. Oh, that's already Ooh. dead. Okay, well, we we tried, right? Yeah, yeah. This is going VR now. I'm yeah. gonna, we're gonna go on VR channel. We're going to VR channel now. I I got a, a Galaga cab here, so I'm good for a thousand subs. Okay. <laughs> I got carpet it. critic. The <laughs> they still think we can do well as if we're carpet critics. So I'm I'm game. I'm game to just. <laughs> we just gotta, any hey, we carpet, were talking to Mr. Any floor. We're talking to Mystery Encoder, and he he actually thinks it's possible to do that game. So, I will uh, say. Shotgun um, Sean says that life is rough once they hit a thousand paparazzi and stuff. I know. Ridiculous. <laughs> so, I don't know if I want to live that life, right? At least he still talks to us now that he's up and. Yeah, I know. We're still, we're still, we're still, we're still part of the clique. That's good to know. Yeah. yeah he shouts down from the mountaintop. Yeah, hey, uh, there. <laughs> Who would the money that? even go to? Can, so, I, can I answer that? Yeah, yeah. That money, any kind of like super chat money, if we were to ever earn that, should go to paying for this stream. stream, yeah, yard. stream. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, Todd's at least paying $25 a month. So, I mean, yeah. That that kind of money Our would, would be paid. That. Anything <laughs> left over, if he wanted to split it up, it doesn't matter. But, yeah. You know. Okay, these guys know these guys know that that if we ever got to a thousand and we were making that kind of money we would we would handle it right yeah right you guys know that right absolutely y'all don't lose sleep knowing that i would you know we would we would make it right yes we don't want to get the there though. it changes you it changes you. <laughs> i was watching rascal stream his latest one and he doesn't swear and cuss as much anymore because is uh, you know advertising dot it changes you. It changes you man. Money changes you, man. More money, more problems. Uh, right? Todd would run off of that shit. <laughs> <You> never... <laughs> uh, <laughs> giveaway. To answer your answer your question, Mister Encoder. The reason why I sound like him is because now I'm purist, just like he is. So uh... <laughs> why I sound like this? Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Oh man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. You guys are hilarious. Yeah. He gets uh goes all corporate shuts the stream down after two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey guys, hour and a half. I'm sorry. It's done. <laughs> Good night. I'm already on longer than it's supposed to be, so oh <laughs> man. <laughs> oh dude, I gotta get up until the morning. <laughs> Uh, he Did got Todd a get the gun, gun for IR. <laughs> nah. He got a retro shooter IR for. Uh -huh. I so told him you said you, you were, I told him you were talking about the Sindens. So. Remember, Todd doesn't share. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's either, that's gonna come back and bite me one day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't share. I'm still I'm still waiting for a shirt that says "Don't be ridiculous, Todd." So, don't be ridiculous. You, uh, don't be ridiculous. You, you non-sharing carpet. <laughs> well, I'm just pulling all nighter, Jay. Come on, pulling all nighter, Jay. You, yeah, all, I got you're four you're a young work. fellow. Oh, yeah. Sharing is here, not man. Todd. <laughs> what is it? Meet me at the mission at midnight. We'll divvy up there. I got the pistol, so I'll keep the pesos. Doesn't that seem fair? <laughs> I've never heard uh, that, but it, it's a dope line in a your rap battle. <laughs> the song. <laughs> oh, you guys! Did Magic call a Stanley on us all? No, it's not a Stanley. He's got it a was... Stanley cup. He's just showing it off. Like <laughs> oh, it's, not a Stan... it's not a Stanley cup, though. It was a gift. It was a Christmas gift from a friend of ours. It's not. No, it's not a Yeti. I do have a Yeti though. It has a Jeep on it. But no, that one's. It was a Christmas gift from a family we went together with to Disneyland this summer. So. It was a Disneyland uh, Stanley. So no, it's not a Stanley. It's just a cup. <laughs> Matt's never too old for a sippy cup. cup. That's true, a sippy cup. <laughs> I just remember a Brit accent and like Yoda was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Sherry is not hot. Yeah, he's like, I didn't realize you were British. It all makes sense now. <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you guys are hilarious tonight. Oh. Oh. Is it show and tell time now? Because I can show you my... Ah! <laughs> Alright, gentlemen. Yes, well... Sir. I feel like we're there's too many I want too many awkward silences. Maybe we should wrap this one up, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're right. gonna get I got I right, let's wrap it up. Wrap it up, right? All right. It's not a great mushroom. laughs, good times. Any final thoughts before we send these nice people home? Hmm. Banditos. Banditos? Banditos. By the uh What's your carpet's clean? Yeah, make sure make sure you have a good carpet cleaner. Uh, who's watching WrestleMania? I don't oh, will be with my buddy. son. Yeah. No, way. I'm yeah. so excited, yeah. dude. Awesome. So subscribe, everybody here. Uh, subscribe to Arcades Anonymous. Join us on our Discord if you haven't joined our Discord. And yep. then uh, if you need show notes of everything we talked about, check out the so show notes section. It will have a list of everything we talked about today. And uh, Block console fanboy, I guess. <laughs> check out uh, check out Yo Retro. Yo Retro oh, yes. is a Sunday. Yeah, and uh, our good friends at Nostalgia Power, they've moved to Thursdays. So check them out on Thursday nights. So, uh, actually, uh, watch it live. Yeah, you, yeah watch it live now on yeah. Thursday nights. Check those boys out. Uh, let's see, what else? Shotgun's More down like that one. <laughs> yeah, don't forget our, our next, friends uh, uh, Shotgun Sean and Rascal on Tuesdays. Tuesday. Uh, smoke break on Wednesdays before our show. Yeah, next uh, Tuesday is the big giveaway. Yes, oh, giveaway that's show. That's what so make sure, yes. and he also invited all of us if we <laughs> like to come on there. <laughs> if so we have, we have to rotate us out, but yeah, yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna have, have to rotate lot. everybody out because there's gonna be more than nine people that's gonna be wanting to come on, but. Anybody can come on, uh, hang out with them for a little while, and then hit the road. But, yes, the big giveaway is next Tuesday. It's like $3,000 worth of stuff. Yes, nice. all of y'all are welcome is what uh, our good friend Shotgun Sean said. So uh, I will definitely definitely be there. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys will be, but I will definitely be there to help represent Arcades Anonymous. Yes, sir. Awesome. I need to put it on my calendar. So I, I'll be a little bit. And like, every yeah, every chat you give them, they they have a drink, so uh, you can make them feel really good by the end of the night if you so choose. <laughs> yep. So, all right. Anything else? Uh, Todd's donating two new light guns. No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be greedy with those things. I'm sorry. Ain't happening, gentlemen. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'll do an Arcades Anonymous shirt, but I'm not doing uh, I'm not doing my guns. <laughs> yeah. Time to go watch X Men '97. That sounds like a great idea as well. Gaga guy is an imposter. It's actually Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> get grabbed. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna end with that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, yeah, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you as always for checking us out every Wednesday night. Uh, Looking forward to seeing y'all next Wednesday night. Check out all the shows we mentioned. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And we will see y'all next week. Thank you again. And see y'all. Peace.